Y'all already know what time it is. Big waves in the building, man. Shout out to all my surfers out there, man. Shout out to everybody that's supporting the channel. We are back with another episode of Carolina Panthers Real Talk, episode seven. Carolina Panther Real Talk, episode seven. We live, we live, we trying to get to heaven. We ain't worried about no haters or something, mashed potatoes. Y'all already know what time it is. Like and subscribe to the channel, man. Hey, listen, thank y'all for helping me get to that 100 mark. The road to 150 begins now, man. Like and subscribe, tell your friends about it, tell your mamas, your baby's mamas, the baby's mama's mamas, the sister's cousins, sister's baby daddies, nephews, uncles, granddaddies. Tell everybody about it, man. We trying to get here. Listen, I'm growing this channel, man. Getting my setup, get everything that I need together. We're going to keep pumping out this content. It's going to start coming more frequently. Y'all continue to be patient with your boy, Big Waves, man. But thank y'all so much for the love and support. I appreciate everybody that's doing it. Again, like and subscribe to the channel. Turn those notifications on so every time a video drops, make sure that you do it. And also, catch out our new live segment that's going to be called Listen to the Waves, where we'll be talking about all different types of topics, man. It's on its way. And oh, yeah. If you a subscriber, your new name is Surfer. So shout out to all my surfers, man, that's subscribing to the channel, man. I appreciate y'all so much. Hey, God damn it, God damn it, God damn it. Carolina Panthers, man. Carolina Panthers lose the game to the Arizona Cardinals 26 to 16. Um, where do I begin? Right? I, I really don't even know where the fuck to begin. Uh it's 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 embarrassing. It's <laughs> uh, hold up, man. Let me let me let me pull my shit together here. So not only were we going against one of the worst defenses in the NFL, but the Arizona Cardinals were sitting at one and two, just like we were. Um, and I, I I gotta tell you guys, I said before this game, I predicted Carolina to win twenty three to twenty, and I think that we gave well, at least the defense gave us every opportunity to win the game. But this offense, and I predicted this, and, you know, let me give a shout-out, man, to all my affiliate podcast. Y'all know y'all can catch me, man, on Panthers Uncensored. Keep pounding TV. Shout-out to the Big Cat. Put them paws up in the air. Shout-out to my boy, Unk underscore 2020. Make sure you go show him love and like and subscribe to his channel. Also, shout-out to my boy, Q-Dub, Dub Q, the Q-Man. For the experience over there at Black Cat Panther Podcast. Y'all make sure and go like and subscribe. Shout out to my boy for hitting 500 subscribers as well. He headed to the top. I'm trying to get there as well, man. So y'all make sure to continue to show it. But back to this bullshit. Listen, I don't understand. I, 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 you're going against the worst, one of the worst defenses. The Cardinals had the worst pass defense coming into this game. And yet again, it's like the same old motherfucking story. It's like, it's like work. It's the same old shit, just a different day, right? The defense makes stops. The offense gets the ball and doesn't do anything with it. I mean, absolutely nothing. We can't get shit going. I, I mean, Baker Mayfield is who we thought he was. At least I thought he was. Listen, this man hasn't proven anything. Everybody want to go back to the one good season that he had in Cleveland where he took that team to the playoffs. But outside of that, what the fuck has he done? Not a goddamn thing. And now I see. I see why. I see why the Browns got rid of him. I really do see why he got rid of him. Listen, Baker Mayfield right now is the worst quarterback in the NFL. His QBR for the season is at 15 Point four, fifteen point four. Can y'all imagine how bad that is? This guy is terrible. His stats for this game: twenty-two for thirty-six, one hundred ninety-seven yards, one touchdown, two interceptions, sixty-one percent completion percentage. And guys, when you watch the game, it looks so much worse. It it it, it looks so much fucking worse, man. It looks so much worse. Like the throws that this guy was making. Nobody has a chance to catch the ball. This man had five batted passes at the line of scrimmage, leading the league right now in batted passes. Some people want to blame that on height. Nah, baby. You can't blame that on height. 
this man is just terrible. He is just that bad. And I, I, it's, it's not going to change. I don't know what I have to say that Baker Mayfield is not the guy. He's not the answer. He's not the solution to fix the Carolina Panthers problems. It's just not going to happen. We can sit up here and believe it and try to make it shit be something that is not. Motherfuckers that are naive and living in this fantasy world like Unk. Shout out to my boy, but that motherfucker is delusional. And a lot of you Panther fans out here are delusional, guys. This team is a bad football team. It really is. This offense was ranked 30th coming into week four. Where the hell do you think it's going to be ranked going into week five, right? And everybody want to sit up here and talk about, yeah, we beat the Saints. Listen, again, once you go up against a better quarterback and Kyler Murray is a better quarterback than anybody we faced up to this point, you see, yes, the defense did a good job of holding him in check majority of the game. But guess what? As long as we allowed them to hang around, he caught fire and he lit our ass up late in that damn game. I mean, you can't do it. That was the problem with the Saints, and the only reason why we beat the Saints was because they didn't have a quarterback that was capable of making the plays when they needed to make the plays. No disrespect to Jameis Winston, but he just couldn't do it. So now we're sitting at one and three with the worst offense in the NFL, and I'm going to go on the record and say probably the worst offense in Carolina Panthers history. Yeah, we got the names. We got talent on the roster, but that shit doesn't mean nothing. It really doesn't. Baker Mayfield is absolutely terrible. So where do we go from here, guys? Before I go into where do we go from here, I want to hear from you guys, man. Leave some comments, man. I need more comments over here. Give me more content. I want to be able to answer you guys' questions. What do you think the Panthers should do at this particular point in time? I believe the season is over. Mathematically, it's not over, of course, right? It's only week four. There's still about 13, 12 games left in the season. But... You cannot be optimistic about what we've seen thus far. I'm not optimistic about it all, guys. I'm, I've been real about this shit, and guess what? When I've been real about this shit, I've been, my fandom has been questioned, right? It's been absolutely questioned, and it hasn't bothered me, man. But yesterday, it, it bothered me, man, because, again, what I saw out there on the field is exactly what I predicted. Again, guys, we cannot build this team by putting band-aids over wounds the size of the Grand Canyon. I've used this statement several, several times. We just cannot do it. You have to fix the problems that are on this team. And the problems lie deep. It lies in the coaching. It lies in the front office. It lies, you know, with the culture. The culture in Carolina is not one of winning. And you can see it. Players just give up. They don't, they don't fight. Prime example, that fourth and one play, even though I think it was a bad call by Matt Rule, but I understand why he did it. He tried to spark the offense, you know, early in the game. But if, as you can see, that line couldn't even push the pile for one yard. Christian McCaffrey, again, it's one yard. Why is it that the guys that we brought in not get in play? So you mean to tell me that Deontay Foreman couldn't come in and get one yard? I just don't understand it. You know, Rashad Higgins, everybody talked about him getting on the field. He gets on the field. He fumbles the snap. You know, I, I, he fumbles the ball on a, on a, on a reverse. I just, the, the culture, it's the culture in Carolina, guys. It's not just the players. It's not just the coaching. It's the culture. It's not a winning culture here in Carolina. And until we start developing that, guys, it's going to continue to be same shit that we've been seeing year in and year out. So what do big waves recommend? Well, it's simple, right? You go to your uh, your, your local ammunition store or wherever they sell dynamite. Um, I don't know where you can get that. Maybe off the black market. You may have to go to a construction site. But you get a bunch of C4, um, probably about 10,000 tons of it. Um, and, and you take it down to Bank of America Stadium and you blow that bitch up. You blow that motherfucker up, man. And then from the ashes, you build a new. It's like a phoenix, man. You, you build anew from the ashes, right? That's what you do. That's how you are going to be able to get this team on the right path. You bring in a new head coach. You bring in your quarterback. You draft a quarterback. This upcoming draft has several good quarterback prospects coming out. You get a fucking quarterback. You trade away players right now while they still have value in order to recruit picks. I say get rid of everybody. 
Clean the whole motherfucking house, man. Don't keep no goddamn body. The only people that you keep is the young studs on defense. The Frankie Louvus, the J.C. Horns, the Jeremy Chins. That's it. Brian Burns is going to demand too much money. He's going to want to be paid like a top defensive end next year. Why even spend all the money on him when we're going to be in a rebuild for the next couple of years? It makes no sense. Christian McCaffrey is going to be counting $20 million against the salary cap next season. Why keep him? He's going into year six or seven of his career. He's not the same player. Let's talk about his stats yesterday. Eight attempts, 27 yards, 90, uh, nine receptions, 81 yards, and a TD. Huh? That's, that's all I can say. And, and again, I wouldn't even want him on the roster because he's a crutch. He's a crutch for quarterbacks in Carolina. He's a crutch. You know, allowing him to be a check down and a safety net for every quarterback, it, it, it hinders the development of a QB. So I wouldn't even want him on the roster. And I get what you got. I'm probably going to catch hell for it. Hey, he's been a staple of this franchise for years. I get all of that shit, right? But in order for us to get the kind of long-term success that we need, guys, we have to build it the right way. It has to be done from scratch. It, 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 it's it, it's got to be done from scratch, man. That's how you build a winning culture because whoever that coach is, He's going to bring in his people, his people. And I'm hoping and there were reports came out that Carolina will seek a coach with considerable head coaching experience. Me personally, I'm on the Sean Payton wave. And that may mean that you got to give the Saints a little bit of some. But guess what? He's a proven winner. We faced him two times a year. So we saw up close what he can do and given the right tools. Give him the power. David Tepper, go to him right now with a blank check. Let him come in here and change the culture in Carolina. Let him do it. Draft your quarterback of the future. Build around your quarterback. You don't do it the way that we've done it. You don't get a veteran journeyman to come in here and then think that you can build around him. That's not how the NFL works. This is the best of the best of the best of the fucking best. There's no way in hell that you're going to keep putting bandages on shit with one-year rental motherfuckers. That don't, this is not fucking budget. This is not rent a center. That's what Carolina think this shit is, is fucking rent a center. Oh, you know, I'm going to rent these motherfuckers off and hope that I can pay for it enough and it'll pay off to be my long term furniture. It doesn't work. You're just wasting money. Because guess what? When that shit started to break down, now you've wasted money. You've wasted draft capital. Sam Darnold cost us draft capital. CJ Henderson, CJ Henderson, CJ Henderson. I said it when we made this fucking trade. That was one of the worst moves in Carolina Panthers history. He has been nothing but a liability since he's been on this football team. Nothing but a liability. And you know what? We had to give up draft picks to get him too. So you recruit some of those picks. You trade away Christian McCaffrey. You trade away everybody else. And again, you start this bitch over the right way. Right now on a contending team like the Buffalo Bills or Kansas City Chiefs, they'll be willing to give a number one pick for Christian McCaffrey right now. I say that he's gone by week eight. We lose. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Looking at our next couple of games, I don't see the next time where we're even going to be able to celebrate a win. I don't. I don't think we're going to beat San Francisco. They have a number three defense. If our offense couldn't score points on one of the worst defenses in the league, how can I be optimistic that we're going to score points on San Francisco's defense? I don't. And I hate it because this defense for Carolina is playing lights out. Frankie Louisville is a pro, pro Bowl caliber player right now and the best person, best player on this defense outside of J.C. Horn. They're wasting their talent. It's a shit show. The shit is embarrassing. It, it, it is so fucking embarrassing, and I'm sick of the shit. I love this team with all my heart, but I am tired of the heartbreak. <laughs> it's, it, it's fucking ridiculous. Matt Rule is 1-26 in 26 when teams score 17 or more points. So that is basically saying that if a team scores 17 or more, there's a 98% chance that we're going to lose that game. Y'all like and subscribe to the channel. I'm sick of the fucking shit. And oh yeah, before I leave this, 
to you delusional ass Panther fans like Unk, Unk underscore 2020, shout out. He's my boy. No disrespect to him. Have nothing but love for him. But I'm going to tell you delusional fans something. Uh, sorry, fans something. I've been on this wave for the a minute. I, I, I've been on it for a minute. <clears throat> and for you motherfuckers that sit up here and call big waves crazy or say that he's not a fan or we not trying to hear none of that shit. How does it feel now? Huh? How does it feel? I bet it don't feel so good, right? I bet you want to apologize to big waves, right? Huh? Think on that shit. Life is just a wave. Like and subscribe to the channel. I'm out.